Good morning, all. Myself, Nasim Kayum, Assistant Professor at the Department of Engineering Sciences at AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. So, we will, in our previous lecture, we will be discussing about tech, the different techniques available to improve the performance of the ranking cycle. So, we will continue in that. So, in our previous lecture, we discussed about the reheating and we have derived an efficiency equation for the reheating of the ranking cycle. So up to here, uh, we are sure, right? So now in this session, we will deeply discuss about the regeneration process or regeneration principle of the ranking cycle. So in this, uh, in this cycle also, we will be having a boiler, turbine, condenser, and pump. So these are the four parts which is necessary for a, any power plant. So when coming to the regeneration process, here, so normally, uh, once again, I will uh, just give a brief uh, intro about the working at the ranking cycle. So generally, pump will pump the water to the boiler, and here, heat addition will take place, and steam will expand in the turbine, and again, the remaining steam, remaining steam will send back to the pump with the help of a condenser. So this is the basic uh, phenomena of a ranking cycle. So in regeneration, what is happening here? After boiler, the, this is common turbine. We are expanding the steam, and which is uh, interconnected to a generator. Here we are getting a power output. So here after turbine, uh, the steam uh, we are splitting into two. Some part we are sending back to the condenser, and some part we are taking it to open heater, where we will heat the steam again, where we'll heat the remaining steam again. If, if, if it contains any water vapor in it, so we will heat it again. And, and again, in open heater, we are giving heat, and again, we are sending back to the boiler. This is the regeneration. So if you see here, uh, here after turbine, we are taking the steam to a open heater. So here, uh, uh, it means that we are reducing the Q, Q supply to the boiler. Why? Because uh, in, uh, generally in reheating, we don't have this one, right? So we are directly pumping the condensed water to the boiler, which may take more time to uh, heat it. So if we preheat it just before the boiler, then it may take a less time. So that's why in that way, we are uh, reducing the heat supplied to the boiler. So when coming to TS diagram, so this is obviously this is a saturated uh, curve. And if you see one to two, we are having a pump, isentropic compression, and uh, two to three, heater. Heater means constant pressure, heat addition. So heat, heat addition takes place. And again, three to four. And, and again, we are having one more pump, which is pumping the hot water. So three to four, isentropic expansion again, and uh, four to five, we are having a boiler. Four to five, constant pressure, heat addition. So the supermetric steam will goes up to 0.5. And here, and again, five to seven, we are having a turbine, isentropically expanding with the work. And again, seven to one, we are having a condenser, constant pressure, heat reduction. So while coming to the efficiency derivation, so output by input, right? So output, what we are getting here, turbine. Turbine is present between five to seven. So H5 minus H7 and divided by heat supplied. Heat we are supplying at boiler. So boiler is present in between five and four. So five and four. This is the uh, basic uh, efficiency equation. So when coming to the differences, if you want to know which is better, so this generally defining it, a, it is a quite, uh, which is better means it is depending upon the, uh, you know, suppose if you want to improve the work net of the turbine, you have to choose reheating. And uh, if you want to improve the efficiency of the cycle by decreasing the heat supply, you have to choose uh, regeneration. But uh, generally in uh, most of the steam plant, steam power plants, uh, they will be having a combined reheating and re regeneration power plants. So, but but the basic uh, difference is that 
reheating is reheating is to improve the work net of turbine regeneration is nothing but to improve the efficiency of the cycle by decreasing qs means heat supply we are giving we are supplying the heat supply right to the boiler and here efficiency may increase or decrease we don't know here but here in this case work done of the turbine is constant so we are not altering the any work uh, at the turbine right so here we cannot say that uh, in uh, in reheating we cannot say efficiency may increase or decrease so here in regeneration uh, we uh, we may sure that efficiency may increase why because uh, we are decreasing the heat supply so from efficiency term we can come to know that this is the general expression so here since uh, in regeneration we are keeping this as constant and we are uh, reducing this one so definitely efficiency will increase so regeneration is the preferred one when compared to reheating one but if you want to uh, increase the work net of the turbine we have to go for reheating thank you